Hey, I'm Karen Bryant, and you are watching Praise or Pummel. Today, my guest is Phil Verone. He's her Hi. rock star. You yes. have seen him uh, in Skid Row, Saigon Kick, and uh, he's a drummer. And he's you probably want to pummel me. <laughs> no. And, well, I do. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, yeah. and you've also seen him on Sex Rehab with Dr. Drew. Um, or, or you have not <laughs> You didn't see me. They're supposed to block out my face the whole time. <laughs> what were you doing? Luckily, I have no tattoos, so you can't. You yeah, know, no, there's no, nothing, there's nothing no to give away. Identifiable marks. Right, yes. right, right. Well, with the amount of women that you slept with, though, I think there are some identifying areas, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. Well, I am unusually hung, but that's a whole nother show. That's old. Where are we, anyhow? So it's Praise or Pummel, and oh, this is where we I'm sorry. either praise things that okay. we're having right now or pummeling things that Excellent. we absolutely can't stand. So um, I'm actually just going to let you start, and um, you can either praise something or pummel something. I that's cannot in. stand Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable And guy. anything he does, I don't get it. If people laugh at this, you're you're retarded. I'm sorry, and I'm, I, I just insulted retarded people, actually, <laughs> because I, I don't get this guy at all, whatsoever. Any, uh, whoever greenlit any of his movies need to be shot. They could, we could have like, help the homeless with that money or something, right, you know right, what I mean? Right, like, right. I, I just, I don't get it. It makes me crazy. Well, I mean, isn't it the, just that it's the whole sort of hee-haw, uh, not, you know I what I'm saying? Mean, isn't it like the real blue collar, obviously blue collar Listen, I know thing, blue right? I technically was blue collar before I got a record deal right. and I would never laugh at him. I laughed at Richard Pryor. Yeah, well, Richard Pryor was funny. Well, I'm just saying, right, you know, it's right, like, right. I think anything, no matter what form of comedy, could be very funny as long as it's funny. Right. And that's not funny. And that's not funny. He's not funny. See, because I can't, and I, I, I don't even have a reference point because I guess I've never even watched it to know that it's not funny. Just put on one day, put on witless protection. That oh alone, God. the oh. title alone, I can't, I gotta stop or I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna wreck the joint. That's how much he gets me crazy. Hey. He's worse than listening to a microwave beep at the end. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the, when it's done, I can, <laughs> or a car horn. <laughs> You'd rather do that? Yeah. I would rather watch a marathon of Vin Diesel movies than watch this guy. Nice. Okay. See, but Vin, well, when you're talking Vin Diesel, Hold on. Like, Vin, Di Vin Diesel can beat me up. I no, yeah. Scratch <laughs> that. Scratch, 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 scratch that. that. Scratch well, that. then, one, what I was going to say, the great thing about Vin Diesel, um, and this will brings you to another, or something that I want to praise, actually. Vin Diesel is one of those guys that's like, sometimes he'll do something that's pretty good. You know, it's pretty I cool. Seen right? it. Well, you know, the first Fast Hold and Furious. Hold on a second. You're just saying that because he's hot. <gasps> he's okay. I mean, he's not listen, really my type, listen, but he's, he's okay. If you've never seen a Vin Diesel movie, just watch one American Chopper interview, and that's pretty much everything. Paul Sr.'s crazy. He came in, and the guy was like, oh, my God, and Paul Sr.'s nuts. That's pretty much Vin Diesel, you know, which, listen, as a, as a struggling actor. Yeah. It actually gives hope for us. Right, exactly. Because I was like, like I went to acting school. I'm like, where's the Vin Diesel wing? Because oh. that's where I need to be. Ouch. And his agent. Right, yeah. Well, did I, did. Wait, I just pummeled too. You did. No, that, and, okay. but, and, and, but your pummeling of Vin Diesel, I is see your pummeling, is my praising of yes. Steven Seagal. Law man. Wow. Have you have you no. seen this yet? I swear I saw the previews and I thought it was a joke. No, well it, it, it see, but it is. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's fantastic. So, so he and his hair basically go out onto crime scenes. Like, it turns out, for 20 years or so, allegedly, yeah. um, he's been um, sort of this uh, uh, reserve duty cop down in Louisiana, right. okay? And so he's been going out on, you know, things with with with, uh, with the real cops down there. And so the show now, you know, the whole thing is like, you get to ride shotgun with Steven Seagal. And like, you know, wow. going, and so it's hilarious because it's one of those things, like, they, they'll show up, the crimes, you know, everything's done. They got the guy down there. He comes running in, you know, just to get his hands in the mix so that, like, he looks like he's part of the bus, you know what I mean? And so yeah. every time, and then he'll start saying something, he starts talking to people, and they're like, yeah, no, I know, Steven, yeah. I, no, I know. Like, like, I, I'm imagining that, that they had to pay all the other guys extra money to put up with the BS of being told how to do their job by Steven Seagal. Like, you have to see the show, right? Well, at one point, he's driving around, and the guy's driving, and Steven's like, to the left, to the right. They're on a chase, and the guy goes, I know how to drive, Steven, or let me drive, Steven, or something like that. And he goes, oh, I'm just showing you the holes, like like, like that the other I'm six inches away. The holes, <laughs> yeah, like, says. This, you know. By the way, showbiz story, his ponytail is dating Donald Trump's hair. Just so you know. You've heard it here first, right there. They are, awesome. Yeah, intense. Oh, intense it's awesome. Stuff. I'm telling you, it, it's it's a it's appointment viewing. It's I, appointment as a reality junkie yeah. and starring on Sex Rehab with Dr. Drew. <laughs> I would definitely watch it. It's it's so bad. But I think what's happening, he's probably thinks that he's actually directing. 
Oh, yeah. No, so I, there's yeah. like, you know, and then they have to say, no, we're actually on a car chase, Stephen. <laughs> but no, as a woman, though, right. wouldn't, you, yeah. wouldn't you love to see what sex would be once with him? Just I mean, like all? just well, for the, the, just for it. Just for the, I mean, back in the day, if we're talking under siege, you know, if we're talking, I if just, we're talking. He's nuts. No, he's nuts. Yeah. He's nuts. But, you know, he's supposedly an Aikido master, and that's all about flowing and moving energy. Like, what if it turns out to be this tantric, you know, Aikido fantastic like event. You know what he I does. Mean, he makes you come with his ponytail. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> you know, it's like one of those things. He just, For the record? Yeah. He's like, he's like, no, he's like reading a magazine that's got his ponytail <laughs> on you. And I'm Is all that, are you done? Okay, I gotta go now and rest someone. I don't know what, I gotta do another. I don't think he was ever my type. protect some land. But honestly, he was somebody's type. But that's the other great thing about yeah. the show is that sometimes he shows up and everyone's like, damn, that's Steven Seagal up in this joint, right? Yeah. You know, while they're getting cuffed, like, you know, they're yeah, all excited. That, I don't understand that dynamic. No, it's though. weird. And, and I wonder, I wonder, because they only show those. Like, I wonder what happens when he shows up and nobody recognizes him. Is he pissed? Total depression. <laughs> Without a doubt. And again, his ponytail is there to console him. Right. 